Okay, welcome everybody to uh, CTV update for August 2nd, the week of August 2nd. Um, I'm here with Cam this morning. Tyler's not here. He's doing something morning, very, very important. So yeah, good morning. And uh, I just wanted to mention before we start, um, uh, condolences to Tyler and his family. Uh, he lost his uncle, I believe Jeff Baker is his name. His uncle was a golf pro, a Gatineau. He's, uh, he greatly influenced Tyler's life in, in the golf industry. And uh, we feel for we feel for his uh, pain in terms of his, an offer of sympathy and prayers for him and his family. Um, hey, it's August already. Can you believe that? You August can. already. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And with August, a lot of events coming up, but one that happened last Saturday, the Junior Club Championships. That's our lead today. What's uh, well, great? Yeah, great playing. Um, we know Sanvi. How many years in a row Sanvi's won our Junior Girls yeah. um, Championship? Good. Sanvi was 76 in the first round. So great playing, kiddo. She's uh, a strong player on our even our women's intersectional team, right? So no surprise there. Um, she just gets better and better and she's got still about three years left in her junior career to hopefully get ready for perhaps a collegiate career someday so wow. kudos to Sanvi and uh, Josh Marcotte um, made some noise in the men's club championship last year he got his hands on the A trophy for the first time congrats Josh and I believe he had a stellar uh, 73 in the final round and then wow. in the uh, in the junior B, uh, Marco Borello uh, was our champion. Congrats, Marco and Finn Steven. Uh, I believe it's Finn's second uh, trophy in the, in the C division. Good for him. Good for him. So yesterday we're on hole number seventeen, and we overhear a group of number eight saying, "Young uh, juniors are number eight saying, well, you don't have to buy a drink because we got insurance." So I get home, We, I, I talked to Tyler yesterday, he said, yeah, young junior got a hole in one. Yeah. I get home, I find out who the young junior is, and it's Reed Hapke. Reed, congratulations. Reed happens to be my next door neighbor. So it was wonderful to see, but I'm gonna pay you a visit tonight, Reed, because I'm gonna hit you up for the $5 you cost me for your hole in one. <laughs> that, that, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's gonna happen between you and your dad. I want my money back. Good for you, Reed. Congratulations. We're happy for you. Well done, Reed. The floodgates are open. We've had, uh, I believe, six in the last month now. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, 30 bucks out of our pocket, too. <laughs> <laughs> goes to goes to a good cause. goes to partially to this patio we're sitting on. That's right? great. So. That's great news. Yeah. Listen, um, last Friday night, it we had a torrential rain. And uh, unlike Florida... That rain would have just been a spit. I mean, the next day, it would be no problem. The water just percolate through and we're ready to play. But here, it's like a bathtub with the clay base we have here. Um, no carts allowed on Saturday and they canceled the first round of the senior intersectional qualifiers. Mm -hmm. So what's uh, what's happening now? Yeah, very, I mean, just briefly, we're very fortunate overall with the weather impact. Um, some of the stories, even from last week, uh, at other golf facilities, massive trees down up in the Gatineau area. And then Joel did a fantastic job once again. Uh, here we had a little bit less impact uh, with the wind, but tons of water. And we were back up and playable on Sunday for, for the championship and then as well for our Monday event. Um, so that was great to see. And we're about halfway through um, the qualifiers for the senior men and women. Uh, both will play on this upcoming Saturday. And then we have the senior women team will be established on uh, Tuesday. So by the time our video is posted, that'll be about five days away. And the men's uh, team will get established on Wednesday the 9th with one rescheduled date there. Okay, that's uh, great. So we'll, we'll make up all that time. Speaking of the event Monday, National mm -hmm. Golf Owners Association, they were here Monday. Tell us about how the day went. They were, uh, they were oversold. Wow. <laughs> just by a few groups wow. we said okay we, we can accommodate that um, of course n no trouble so we had about 130 uh, on Monday uh, Greg Chambers one of our members was part of the uh, the key organizer uh, representing the NGCOA um, their CEO lives in Osgood so he was here for the event wow. Jeff. Uh, so tremendous to have have Jeff here their whole staff and and lots of uh, facilities we had 
uh, individuals from Camelot. We saw Greg Richardson um, dropped off the trophy prior to the event. I uh, saw a group from Renfrew come in and it was a, a really nice group of board members and managers representing uh, various clubs and uh, the, the, the thought and, and the response on the golf course was unbelievable. Um, this event's been held at some, some other great clubs in the area but the registrations were way up this year and, and I know that um, our, our club had a lot to do with that. Oh, that's great. That was really positive and good yeah. vendor support too. Um, at the event and uh, thanks again to Joel and his team mm -hmm. for getting the course ready because on Saturday those bunkers were full of water they were playable yesterday I've got beautifully done okay sorry I gotta ask how did we do <laughs> we were uh, we, we made we made a lot of birdies out there a, a few too many bogeys mixed in we had to count to two scores in a, in a fun shamble format and we, we were middle of the pack Okay, yeah. all right. We're under par, though. I won't press it anymore. I won't <laughs> press it anymore. I know you guys. Um, Tyler's not here, right? You sure he's not here? Sure, you're, you're sure. Well, I better get the sale in quick okay. before he, he right. could walk no, around the corner. No. Or okay. So I go to talk to Tyler yesterday. I said, Tyler, we got to, you know, we got to have a promotion. You know? Well, I got bags and I got shoes on sale and I got all those clothes. And by the way, I did buy, and it, it was a really great deal. They do have a lot of these shirts on sale. I just bought this beautiful black one. And these are so good because they last such a long time. They retain their shape and retain their color. $25 for that. Guys, a, women, there's a lot of clothes on sale. But I wasn't happy with that. Uh, you know, that's, <laughs> that to me is a cop out. And I know the club championships are coming. They're coming later on. I think it's August 18th was when they start for the A's. And I know that oftentimes you got to get your equipment ready and one of the most important pieces of equipment are golf gloves. So I go to Kisa and I said, Kisa, can we put golf gloves on sale? Kyler's not here today. He doesn't know anything about this. He has no clue. She says, we've got a good supply. You go for it. <laughs> so she gave me three. I'm buying one of these right away. These are winter gloves for the fall. 10% off. These are the regular two-wear athletic gloves. 10% off. With with the logo as well. With Custom our Carlton logo. logo. Most important, if you don't have a pair, and believe me, during the club championships, I've been in them, and it starts raining, and you can't hold on to your grips, rain gloves. Rain gloves, folks, 10% off, but that's not all. That's not all. You can get an additional 5% off if you see Kisa, because I know she's lonely for Arkansas. <laughs> and if you can remember, the promo code I gave you, which was the call for the Hogs for the Arkansas Razorbacks. If you can remember that, you can get another 5% if you see Kisa. I'm not telling you what it is. You go look it up. There's YouTube videos and everything on it. Call to the Hogs to Lisa and you'll get another 5%. 15% off if you can do it. And Tyler knows nothing about it. What did I, what, what am I doing for you folks? There you go. There's your promote for the week. I would stock up on gloves. These are fine gloves. These aren't the regular Costco specials. These are really good, really good, top, top quality gloves. They sure are. Um, listen, um, I coming in, I look at that legacy pathway. What do I see? Oh, our stones are done. They're beautiful. You're, you're going to be seeing the, I got pictures uh, that are coming across the screen right now. And, uh, uh, can you tell us when you know a bit about that what happened and and are, is there room to put more stones for uh, uh, etching the stones absolutely uh, it's, it's come along quite nicely if you haven't uh, had a walk down there um, a very nice black etching so the names really pop out um, they're, they're quite sharp and we've got about 37 that'll be they're in a test position right now so they're gonna get dropped into the coming days into their final position uh, we've got Morton, Sylvia, Kalen, uh, right at the top. I saw that. Um, I saw that. Which is a nice, nice touch. And we're into our second phase now of orders. Um, so we have another batch of stones uh, at our at our etcher, and we can continue to accept orders, of course. And then we'll come back once we fill a few more orders. We'll we'll tell them to go ahead, green light with the next order, and get the next batch 
Um, so they're spaced out quite nicely down about half the pathway and there's there's lots of room. Um, they're still just 160 per stone tax in and they're there for a lifetime. Wonderful and they look beautiful folks and he hasn't placed them in yet but uh, that he's got the where they're going to be which is wonderful. And we've seen uh, we've seen a few recent orders um, also commemorating members so if it's not for yourself um, you know please consider um, it might be a nice touch to commemorate another former or past member and, yeah. and it's a great well uh, I saw Jimmy Shields uh, stone there and uh, Jimmy died a few years ago and, uh, and uh, him and his wife are there it's wonderful and I might have a surprise for you about Jimmy later on uh, later on this year okay so i just wanted to touch briefly there are a few subtle we're not, you know, we're not promoting the club championship yet it is coming august 18th but there are some subtle changes to it this year it's not a two weekend event anymore can you talk a bit about that definitely so we're really hoping uh for the playability the the competition um being closer together um and then ease of scheduling your your time off that it hopefully will be received really well good early traction, a lot of positive comments. So the open divisions will play on Friday for men and women, the A, and then the flighted divisions B, C, and D will be Saturday and Sunday only. Okay. So the opens will be playing uh, three days in a row and, and that'll be good for the integrity, uh, I think, of the competition. And then the whole of one party's a week later. Correct. So everybody's yeah. had a chance to rest and find out. And folks, on that Sunday, advanced, advanced notice, live coverage of the finishing groups as long as it's not raining my camera can't take the rain so um that's one when we uh, hopefully we'll be able to cover the uh, the men's and women's well I, the women usually finish before way before the men so it's usually just the men i get to cover but I'll, i will talk to everybody okay so we have a few events uh one on sunday rbc scramble 17 groups involved and still can register some more even mm -hmm. by the time you see this video yeah, for sure. So it's in the afternoon uh, on, on Sunday this weekend, and we're really hoping, um, you know, we'll have a minimum of one. If we get a few more teams, we might have two teams to go forward. Uh, so it's a great reason to get um, a few more registered um, to improve our chances. And that uh, team will qualify for the regionals at the marshes. And, you know, we're hoping one of these years we're in the top two or so at, at the regionals, the second stage. So we can send a team to Cabot. I know we're going to do it one of these years. Yeah, yeah, it's going to happen. We're getting more and more participation. And the 17 groups is a lot of groups. Mm -hmm. um, Battle of the Sexes on Monday. I think we have 30 registered. And one thing I noticed that you can register as a single person if you want. Correct. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll definitely um, pair up individuals and make some phone calls if we do have some, some singles signed up. There's still a bit of space in the, in the Battle of the Sexes. Hey, August 11th. Your day, Jazz Festival night. Tell us yeah, it's going to be dynamite. Um, we're starting to receive some registrants uh, for reservations out on the patio, which is which is great. So please keep those coming. And um, like we mentioned last week, uh, award winning. Uh, you know, they play at Jazz Fest downtown in Ottawa. Great talent, uh, Jenny and Laura Seaborn, and they'll be playing up on the deck. It's a great environment. They fit up there. The space is perfect um, with the little drum set, and keyboard, and it's a really nice atmosphere, not not too loud, and we'll have some tapas menus. Uh, there's a couple of posters in the, in the dining room, so you can see some of the features uh, for the night. All right, and on August the 12th, uh, we have a Learn to Love It clinic, which is probably full by now, mm -hmm. um, but we have the junior closing. It can't be a closing already, John. Uh, closing already? Yeah. Parents? You know what that means? Back to school, so it'll be two or three weeks away from there. So <laughs> don't tell the juniors that, let them enjoy their summer. <laughs> um, kitchen, what have you got for us in the kitchen? And I'll give you the big surprise later. That's the real island. <laughs> yeah, no, another great, um, just a quick summary on our awesome features. Uh, we've got some arancini balls, uh, watermelon salad, black and oh, chicken that sounds Caesar delicious, salad. That watermelon salad. Yeah. And that has some nice prosciutto in it as well. Oh, wow. Um, a baked penne pasta and the pizzas. We can't take the pizzas off the menu. Joe. No, they're just yeah. selling like hotcakes. Yeah. Apparently. So there's a sausage, uh, red pepper uh, pizza, and then as well as a traditional wow. pepperoni and cheese. Wow, pizzas are really good. Now, okay, I went to see Sean. I said, Sean, what do you got for us this week? He says, you know what? He said, for Men's League tonight, 
we're doing the roast beef sliders. I said, well, will there be any left over? Because by the time they see this, you know, mm -hmm. men's league's over. They'll go as long as we have them. Roast beef sliders, you got to try them. They're uh, Sean's, uh, Sean's special of the week this week. With right. the little horseradish aioli oh. on them, they're fantastic. They're hey. delicious. Hey, that's wonderful. Listen, anything else today? We I think we covered quite a bit. Here's the good week. Keep the sun coming, Joe. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we uh, wish, uh, and, and one of the other things about uh, Tyler today, he's, uh, he just bought a new home and they're doing a walkthrough today. So uh, hopefully that'll be done and uh, good for him. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on that part of it. And folks, until next week, play well.